Sponsored by Winwing Technologies. You'll feel the flight regime. Guns, gear, high alpha, and others. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome to our next Ukraine-Russian simulation, where we run theoretical simulations in relation to the current conflict. Today's viewer request is, can NATO Eurofighter Typhoons ingress Crimea, currently held by Russia, obviously, and destroy the Russian AWACS that is operating around the Crimean region. Here is the Black Sea, Russia, Georgia, Ukraine and Turkey. The defences in play today are shown by Red Rings, an S-400 site in the middle of Crimea. There are actually at least three S-400 sites in Crimea, but to make it easier to visualise, we've concatenated those three into one large super site, which won't actually have a loss of function or very minimal loss of function. The ranging rings of the various missiles from that site are shown in red. Short to medium range, medium range, long range, long range, and super long range. Super long range being 400 kilometer range. Also, the AWACS that we're going for today, we've placed him here, northeast of Crimea, with a viable detecting range of fighter size targets of about 300 miles, or 300 nautical miles, I should say. And we can show it's this ring here, the big fat red ring. Now that we're using such long-range assets in our simulations with the introduction of the S-400 site, one thing I'm really struggling to convey to you guys is the massive size that we're involving today. Let me transfer these ranging rings onto my country. A lot of you won't know the UK, I suppose, but I certainly do. This is the UK. I've translated our mission onto our country to show how big this type of mission is. The S-400 SAM site that we're fighting in the middle of Crimea is now on the Houses of Parliament in the middle of London there. It ranges out 400 kilometres and covers pretty much all of England. The AWACS is up here in a channel on the North Sea with its 300 nautical mile ranging ring covering again all of England, even up into a bit of Scotland, Netherlands, Belgium, a bit of France and so on. And today's starting position, as we'll see in a minute, is 360 nautical miles out from London here on the west of Ireland. I just thought that would be interesting to you guys to show the size of the systems involved in Russia. The AWACS is here at 30 odd thousand feet doing its AWACSy thing. Next, airborne defence. I have no idea what kind of airborne defence Russia has in the Crimean region. I imagine only a handful of people in the world do. I'm guessing eight Su-35Ss patrolling in pairs. Pair one, pair two, pair three, pair four. They can see targets either with their own radar or data linked information can come from the AWACS. Also, a pair of MiG 31s on patrol. Realistic? No idea, but they're there, long range interceptors. If we are detected at any point, which we will be, of course, then these guys will be vectored to us and they will come and shoot us down. And QRA, quick reaction alert at Krasnodar here, are another four Su 35Ss, I'll just say armament, 10 modernized adders with uh, long range and two modernized close-range archers. The MiG-31s have got some pretty old missiles, but it's an old plane. R-33, R-40R. All hostile intelligence is set to veteran. Let's talk about Blue Force. First, intelligence. Without intelligence, we can't do this. We've got our NATO AWACS here, who will data link information directly to us in our Eurofighters. There is actually, it's not an E3, but there is actually a NATO AWACS in exactly this position, race tracking at exactly this point. You can see it well, literally on the internet. Now, in real life, its range is about the same of the Russian AWACS, about 350 statute miles for detecting a fighter-sized target. We're going to cheat a bit. It's just what we have to do to bring these games to you. We're going to say it's more like 400 nautical miles so we can see these guys out here. Otherwise, you won't be able to see them on your screens and you won't know what's going on. So a titchy-witchy bit of cheating there, but otherwise pretty realistic in terms of ranges and whatnot. And finally, us. We are Eurofighters. We've got me, Deck, Matrix, Poosh, Simba, Cannonball, DJ. Say hello, boys. Hello. 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 What's up? There's my boys and we are mixed to skill as ever. We have to find a way of destroying that AWACS, boys. Now, tactics. I've done quite a bit of single-player experimentation trying to find how to do this. First of all, there is no cover here. Apart from curvature of the Earth, there is basically no cover in Ukraine in the approaches to Crimea, which is a real problem when you're dealing with look-down AWACSs with 300 miles range and 250 miles range of an S-400. I've tried on my own ingressing 
low using the earth's curvature to hide and I can get within maybe a hundred miles but immediately then the AWACS sees me and although I have no problems with the S400 the SU-35s just jump down on me, fire their missiles from 50 miles away and kill me and can't get anywhere now. I've tried uh, going around the south here, fuel is a problem not a huge amount of fuel in the Eurofighter uh, coming down here, hiding from the mountains and, and ingressing doesn't work, gets shot down I've tried medium range assault at 30, 40,000 feet, high speed, attacking the enemy fighters rather than trying to bypass them. Doesn't work. Although, at least in game, I do have superior weapons. The uh, Meteor missile we're going to be looking at today is a super weapon, but eventually you just get overrun. There's so much, there's so, you know, eight SU 35s, S's, which are good modern frontline fighters, MiG 31s, another four takeoff from here, plus you're constantly getting peppered by S 400. You can't fight your way through this. It just can't be done unless we're going to bring a full air wing in, which is, well, I mean, this is pretty unrealistic as it is, but an air wing is just not going to happen, right? So, how are we going to do it? The best way I found of doing this was I've taken the pylons off the wings to create as less drag as possible. I've got a drop tank for fuel, but we'll drop it early on. So it's going to be an almost drag-free Eurofighter. All I've got is four belly-mounted, long-range, ramjet-equipped Meteor missiles with a range of well over 100 miles, which is going to be obviously critical for today. So fast, light, slick aircraft. And what I did was I zoomed up to 45, maybe 50,000 feet and got up to Mark II, about the top speed of this fighter with that... Uh, drag coefficient and I just zoomed over the top and I used not stealth obviously this is not a stealth fighter and they can see me but I used almost like what I call American muscle pure speed and power and just got in there got within 100 miles of the AWACS get my missiles away just in time before I get hit it's obviously a suicide mission you can't go in and just shoot down Russia like I said without an air wing it doesn't happen but this is just a way of getting there quick enough now could I do it on single player no I couldn't I got shot down by the S-400 in the end and my missiles were out of range. However, I thought if I bring my boys along, we take a flight or two flights of Eurofighters. With this technique, we might actually be able to do it, especially with some of you guys acting as diversion, maybe. So we've stripped down Eurofighters with four meteors each. We're starting uh, 425 statute miles away, so you know, huge distances. By the time we get hostiles starting to fire at us, we should be light on fuel, we should be over Mark II, we should be going so fast that one of us should get through to the AWACS. You don't have to get to the AWACS, you can fire at the AWACS about 100 miles and probably get a hit. It's a good missile, um, the Meteor, at least in game. If we survive, or some of us survive, if we do get the AWACS, turn west, run back to Poland. That's your job. So big, crazy, NATO suicide mission is the only way I can see of doing this, guys. Unless you're going to start putting stealths in. F-35s can get to a lot of these radars, but it's not what you guys asked for. You wanted 4th gen fighters to see if it can be done. Any predictions or tactical uh, notes? We can die. The bomber always gets through. No, I think I think we should be able to crack this one. Roger, well, guys, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of firing vampires at a modern ship. The modern ship is very good at defending itself, it will kill vampires, but enough vampires in enough short space of time, going fast enough, as you all know by now, eventually something gets through. And an AWACS is an incredibly vulnerable, sensitive platform. Even if we don't shoot it down, the shrapnel will make it useless for the rest of the war. A hit is going to count as a kill, basically. Welcome into the simulation. Here is my lovely seven Eurofighters. We are out 400 and something miles away from Crimea. Here is the Crimean combined S-400. It's a mega site, basically, with almost infinite weapons. I've combined them with multiple radars, multiple weapons. SU-35s, 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 MiG-31, A-50 AWACS, QRA ready to scramble, NATO AWACS, and us! We're starting at low altitude, so we are behind the horizon, so no sensors could possibly see us. Three, two, one, go. Here we go, guys. I'm max power and I'm zoom climb. Climb with me. Countermeasure check. Okay, give him zero. Roger, DJ. Can't do much about that, I'm afraid. 9,000 feet. 10,000 feet. If you have to back off the throttle slightly, do so, but we're pretty much going wet. We're using the missile that is the Eurofighter. Supersonic in a climb. We're pretty stripped down, and we're low drag. 19,000 feet. Okay, predictions. Uh, detection range of the AWACS is about 300 nautical miles. 
which, whoops, which should be about there. That's when we should be being detected by the AWACS, at which point things might get vectored to us. They might not necessarily vector straight away because they have to take things into consideration like fuel. In fact, so do we. Right, fuel is 5,000 cap is dumping bag now. Bag off and cons. Unfortunately, the way I predicted this is it's going to be a one-way mission. There is no point of trying to conserve fuel. I've tried everything I can think of and you just cannot fight Russia and go back and penetrate Russia and then go back with fuel. So it's going to be one way. Only way I can find of doing this is by going at Mark 2. Currently Mark 1.58 and we will get faster and faster as the uh, drag starts to reduce. 4,600 kilos. Eurojets on this... Uh, Aircraft burn at a very high rate, even at this altitude. Mark 1.7. I'm detecting painting. That is a search radar, but no track, no spike. Mark 1.75. Very fast aeroplane. It's critical that we uh, organise ourselves and that we are roughly in the same position, the same longitude for this tactic to work. We want to come in as a massive flock of Mark II birds to make this effective. Too many for them to handle at once. Mark 1.9, 42,000 feet distance. And we're still not in detectable range, so no, no one's definitely not seen us yet. If you're wondering why we can see them and they can't see us, it's like I said, I had to cheat a bit with the AWACS, because otherwise I couldn't show you what's going on and it would make a pretty boring video. Let me just check these guys. No, they haven't seen us yet. They're on cruise. 45,000 feet, Mark 1.93. below us that is feed coming from the our friendly AWACS he's actually spotted the hostile AWACS probably mark 1.99 we're almost up to combat speed mark 2 we're now pretty much at combat C speed although we will go as fast as we can get this thing mark 2.01 painting appears to have been increased slightly let me check on these fighters no, they've still not seen us. We're within detection range. In theory, in theory, we could be detected. However, it's never that simple. Radar is not just an on and off thing. It's, it's environmental conditions, altitudes, speeds, now, even the position of this guy here and his, his, uh, his role and stuff like that. So many things to consider. Mark 2.06, and that's pretty much VMAX. Is anyone in... DJ, did you get in in the end? I will take that as a no. Right. Guys, I don't think there's much point hiding now. Jammers on. Energised weapon systems. Nose is warm. Set to probably 500 kilometres range. There's our data link feed. Uh, that is our friendly AVAX. That is oh, something that's disappeared. Everyone dropped off the screen for me. Uh, how do you mean? Oh, negative, I see you. You're just further ahead now. Yeah. No plan ever goes to plan. Right, progress. We are getting across this country. Even a Mark II takes a long time. Distance to Waywax, 250 miles. Distance to S300, 200. We're coming up to the firing range of the long-range S400 missiles. This should be interesting. Can it see us? Can it fire at us? There are many considerations. Not just the stealth of the aircraft, but the speed of our aircraft, the altitude of our aircraft, the aspect of our aircraft, the direction of our aircraft. Better check we're going the right way. I think we're bouncing off. No, we're perfectly on heading. 108 true. And nothing's fired us yet. We are now coming into the maximum range of this uh, missile system, 250 statute miles. Spike. Deck spike. Anyone know if it's mud or if it's air? Uh, oh, I don't know how to read this. I don't know how to read this. I thing, believe it's mate. air. Well, we think that's air... No, uh, missile's out now. The 40N6E, that is the S400's long-range missile, 400 kilometer range. Okay, guys, we've got a dodge now. Imagine you're flying a Blackbird and you've got a dodge from an SA-2 or something. Small changes will make a big difference to that missile. Guys, and roll left very carefully. We must not lose our Mark II status. I'm going back to nav mode. We're Mark 2.15. We've got to beat this missile. 
Now, because it's a fast missile, but the missiles, when they're going over the size of a country, they still take a long time to get there. We do have time. Primary missile is off power. 3,000 knots, Angel's 40. Twenty seven hundred knots. What what are you turning to? I'm turning to zero through zero eight zero and still turning. I'm now in a notch. One missile defeated, one still active. We've made a small turn, valued viewers, and what that's done is it's 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 A notched the radar site and B beaten the kinematic solution of the missile. Fuel, twenty seven hundred kilos. Mark two point one six, fifty thousand feet. One missile still active. Unknown who the recipient is. All missiles defeated. Probably me. New. New missiles coming. New missiles coming. Defeated. You see they disappear. They self-destruct when they lose their kinematic or radar solution. New missile. Don't worry about them running out of missiles. They're a combined site and they will not run out of missiles. Missile is on power at 3,000 plus knots. Mark 2.16. 2,500 kilos of fuel. Okay, I'm feeling confident to turn in for the AWACS. I'm going to turn in at a heading of one, one, three, true. All missiles defeated. Well done, guys. Right roll. Well, this is going well. It was much harder on single player, I can tell you that right now. A new missile out. We've got time. I've increased the mark 2.2. Ah, the sight, the sight, the sight under power and it is 4,000 knots this is a fast one guys again got no idea of who it's coming through we all get the radar warning because the radar uh, track corridor is actually a few degrees wide so we'll all it'll all sound like we're getting shot at mark 2.17 actually pretty yeah, curious I'm picking up two airborne targets fighters coming Simba headbutt them you're on a vector of 130 for 70 headbutt them shoot them Whatever you got to do, just get them off us. They're going to fire about 50 miles, so get your missiles out before them and send them cold. The rest of my boys are now on a heading of 120 for AWACS. And it's a jamming. Yep. I'm not sure if we have home on jam or not. Ah, stop shooting. Sim's got the missiles out first. That's good work. The Meteor is a real beast of a missile. Ramjet sustainer. I'm not sure what it sustains that in game. It sustains a Mach 4. In real life, I don't know where it sustains that. Effective firing range, well over 100 miles. Mark 2.2 still. Good meteors. It sent the hostiles cold or it stopped them firing. I'm still worried about all of those S-400 missiles that are coming at us. Okay, we are now 160, uh, about 200 statute miles from the AWACS. Other planes are starting coming, to come towards us by the looks of things. Okay, looks like we're going to get our first strike on the meteors. Or not. Yes. No, yes. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Boom. Shot Simba. And the other one? Supersonic and evading. Boom, dead. Simba get back on course. Uh, two, break. One, one, zero, four, 150 nautical. The rest of us start finding your own ways from here. Get your radar set up. Sorry, I'm still getting missile warnings. Feel free, out. feel free to put vertical speed in there or help destroy missiles and upset missile solutions. Right, I'm Mach 2.25. Bingo fuel. Going to weapons. I got a four bar target. Shoot the full bar target when you think you can hit it with the missile. You need to be within about 100 miles. Cap has the AWACS locked. Deck AWACS locked. Use, you, use locked. your judgment. Use your judgment, guys. Wow, we've just churned our way through those friggin' things. Right, let's keep going. We might even survive this. Cannonball Fox 3. Do it. But remember, you've got to keep him locked, guys. You've got to keep him locked. There's going to be no data, data link sustaining. Deck Fox 3. Cap. Fox 3, Meteor. Missile away. Oosh, Fox 3. <laughs> One of your missiles went right past my face. So we are firing at a distance of, wow, 130 nautical miles, about 160 statute miles. This is hardcore, man. Zimba Fox 3. Cap, uh, defensive left crank. Deck defensive left crank. Missiles are coming. For God's sake, don't lose the track. Whatever you do, don't lose the track. You can zoom out and see the track on your data link. See so showing where he is. Fuel, 1,100 kilos. All the other planes are coming now, and the four that have scrambled are coming as well. So we've got to 
Go chop, chop, chop. Missiles are looking good, guys. Uh, Simba and Poosh are most in threat. Start a left crank, but try and keep him locked. I'm zooming up to space. Oh, I've lost my dang lock. I've lost my lock. Idiot. Hopefully the missiles are going to... It's quite a slow plane. They might as well track. Yeah, I'm going to the stratosphere. Okay, missiles are 40 nautical miles away. Poosh, now go defensive. Sacrifice your missiles. Go defensive. Missiles are on sustaining. This one's going for me. It's going for me. 70,000 feet. Go on, Cap. Missile is... Oh, 115,000 feet. Come on, you son of a bitch. Why is it going for me? 75,000 feet and I'm stalled. Arax has gone defensive. S400 has gone nuts. I'm going to die. Son of a bitch picked on me. Shot 200 miles away. But... Oh, baby. Right, guys. All head. West, northwest. Northwest. Go, go, go. It's 300. Zero, zero. That's an order. Maximum speed. AWACS down. Nice. Yay. The planes are all burning hey. towards us, but... They're not going to catch us. Right. Vector. 300. Zero, zero. Go, go, go. Missiles are coming after all of you. S400, four, uh, the 40 series are chasing you down. Poosh is most in threat, I think. Bear in mind, value viewers, we've done this with um, our jammers on. So even jamming, the jamming's getting... Whoa! Burnt through. You still need afterburner. You can't save fuel yet, guys. You're, you're only about 120 statute miles from that S400, and it is blasting at you. Even the MiG-31s are burning in now. They're capable of Mark 2.8. Everything's burning after us. Probably tracking us with the S-400's radar. More missiles coming after you guys. If you can, keep over Angels 40. It's going to help your fuel considerations. Oh, crop circles. Okay, most in threat is Simba and Matrix has... Uh, yes, they're firing the uh, crapper missiles at us now. They don't have as good kinematic profile. They're down to 2,000 knots. You guys are at... Okay, they're going twice as fast as you. You're at 1,000 knots. They're at 2,000 knots. The MiG-31s, I'm slightly worried at. Okay, okay. Deck, Poosh, and Cannonball. Back to mill power to save fuel. Matrix and Simba still needs to keep burning because you've got missiles falling on you. Russia is coming. And they are very angry. Well, I'm down to 200 liters. Aha, <laughs> Simba! Turn around. You're not making it. Turn around. Sacrifice yourself. Be a target. A nice, juicy target. Okay, Simba's on the turn. Let's see if the missile tracks him. These missiles can... Lock on after launch, I believe. So they can find a new target. Okay, one's found you, Simba. Good work. This is a great battle. Right. Fox 3. Okay, unfortunately, there is also one chasing Matrix. Go away, Russia. Yes, the MiG-31s are topping out 800 knots. They're just not high enough to get fast yet. It has to drag it at that point. That is a MiG-31 problem, I'm afraid. Push, evade, evade, evade. There is a meteor about to hit you. It's a very powerful missile to be put high evasion in. Simba, should you shoot the baddies? You have an IFF system on board there. Ah, oh, damn it. Push is down. Okay, otherwise... Uh, 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 Matrix safe. Deck safe. Cannibal safe. Mill power and keep going on. Current heading is your best escape vector. You are being chased by all of Russia, but all of Russia have very inefficient AL-31 engines. There's a good chance they're going to run out of fuel chasing you. Uh, fuel reports. Cannibal. I'm under 500. That's fine. It's kilos. That's loads. Uh, deck. Uh, fuel report. State 0 0.3. Uh, 300 kilos, 600 pound. I think I'm out. I'm getting a... Hmm. Warning signal now. Yep, it's done. Oh dear. Right. Um, land it. Find uh, something to land it on. It's a hundred and something million pound plane. Uh, need that. Uh, matrix fuel state's at the bottom of the UFC. 0 0.8. That's good. Simba fuel state. Oh, I'm empty. Interestingly, the S-400 stopped firing at you. I guess it finally found it, ran out of ammo. I mean, it must have launched... 30, 40 missiles at you. Uh, how far is Poland away? That's the question now. 600 miles. 600 miles. Let's see. How far is that? That's about 600 statute miles there. Yeah, the boys are going to have to land it. All right. Well, glide as far as you can, guys. So how good is the glider as a Eurofighter? Well, I don't know. 
I don't know. I wouldn't have thought it's... It's got some big wings. The wing loading can't be that bad, right? But they are very highly swept. Which is very and bad. It's a, and it's a delta. Mm, bad for gliding, right? Two of Russia has turned around and run out of fuel. Ha 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 ha! Bye-bye, Russia! They're down to 160 knots. But the rest of Russia is after you. Simba will be getting shot very soon, I can tell you that. Oh no, he won't because he's landing. Pop that canopy, Simba, that's an hors d'oeuvre. Uh, what's the key command oh, for the canopy? Yeah. How many years have you been playing this video game? Control you know what? E. Forget it. See? It's got to get speed down. Don't try and land that thing at 300 knots. I wonder if they'll shoot at him on the ground. High angle of attack, you should be able to get it down to about 130 knots. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Good. Good landing. Ah! Um, Ukraine is not hospitable to Eurofighter landing gear. Right, that's one man down. Ah, they're turning round! SU-35 turning round. They've made a decision. I've not told them to do this, by the way. This is all part of their new programming. They've said, is it worth... No, little AI brain. Is it worth attacking these guys? Will they get away? They don't know our fuel state. Is it worth attacking? Probably not. MiG-31s have turned round. Guys! How about that? They've all turned around. Apart from one. Stand by. Yep, apart from lone matey boy. Oh, he's still got his burner on. He doesn't like the look of one of you guys. Uh, maybe he's turning, he's turning. No, he's, he's turned around. He's turned around. Crazy Russians. Attrition is still going to be horrible because one way or another Cannonball is not getting to Poland. But you are probably, my knowledge is right, I think you're probably just about in an area of uh, Ukraine can... Yes, it is, because if Odessa is there, Russia currently has sort of that area, kind of here, blah, 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 blah. I think that's Ukrainian-controlled Ukraine. So I think you're going to be okay, Cannonball, as long as you don't mess the thing up. Also, landing gear doesn't work very well. Try belly landing, or... I, I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. Uh, Matrix is going to make it back to Poland, there's no doubt. He's got 1,400 uh, pounds of fuel. Uh, cat from Matrix. Send. Uh, do you just want me to try landing somewhere down? No, you can log out. You, we've saved your airframe. Okay. Remember, Valley viewers, in an emergency landing, we always land with our canopy off. Why? Because it's sexy. And sexy is very important for us. Too sexy for this film. Too sexy for this film. Too sexy so for this sexy plane. Come on, cannibal. Come on, cannibal. Come on, cannibal. Come on, ca mm. It's a very abrasive ground that Ukraine has, doesn't it? Why so abrasive? So, I'll start debriefing now. So, assuming that DJ didn't make it in, he seems to have disappeared, uh, that was six of us. One made it back, which is Matrix. Hey, I'm just glad one person made it back, you know. And we didn't have any choice. It was all or nothing. Without being Mark II, there was no way of doing this. Trust me, you don't get close enough in time before the other guys jump on you. So, Mark II is the only way of doing this fast enough. So, if you're going to do this without a stealth aircraft... <laughs> If you're going to do this without a stealth aircraft, I mean, you, they probably would blow up. You probably couldn't land a Eurofighter without a properly prepared motorway. It would just blow up and break it. So we lost five Eurofighters. We saved Matrix because he just did better with his fuel, but he's a bit more sensible than us. Simba, didn't you shoot some baddies down? You took a couple of SU-35 down, didn't you? I did. With superior Meteors. So that's good. So that's money in the bank, guys. I know they don't cost as much as Eurofighter, but it's something. And the main thing is we shot the AWACS down. I don't know how much an AWACS costs. I doubt any of us do, right? But what I can tell you is Russia doesn't have many. And it's a huge tactical influence because now this area is sort of, not really, but sort of blind. The AWACS is the best thing. I mean, these radars are good, but they can't see low level. These, these ground radars. AWACS can see low level with its powerful pulse Doppler radar. So that's a major tactical influence uh, for the cost of half a billion pounds worth of with aircraft, really. I think it's a good proof of concept. Do I think Britain or anyone in Europe should do it? No, I think it's a really, really bad idea right now. But it is really interesting to run these simulations and see what's possible with relatively decent input. Uh, debrief notes from you guys. If there were roads, more of us might have made it. I don't think you land. I mean, Matrix, you're you're going to have the most experience. I know you've landed on roads, but I, if you take an average road, a non-prepared road, I don't reckon you're landing a fast jet on it. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it would be very tricky. Um, zero crosswind. If it's a decently smooth road with no larger scale undulations, you might get away with it. But um, anything else, you're going to write the aeroplane off. I think, yeah. I mean, what's the chance of there being a perfectly straight motorway with a central reservation removed side? I, I think with no cars and lorries to hit. 
I said it's pretty unlikely. It's, it, it, everything I see over there is burnt out husks everywhere at the moment, guys, and craters. Yeah, whether well, the yeah, terrain is flat, they tend to build the roads straight, so you might have more chance, but okay. you might end up taking bits of the aircraft off on, say, lamp stanchions or central barriers. Terrain. And it's whether or not that road's maintained. Right. We've, we've all seen roads after about a couple of years, they're not so smooth anymore. What you're saying is there's no landing you're a fight for the British road. Right, guys, uh, we should sign off. I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know what you want to see simulated and why. Uh, and we'll see you later. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.